before we start, I just want to say that this is not an April Fool's video. I don't make pranks. Please take me seriously. Welcome to week 13 of Best Mods of Fallout 4. Today we're going to be taking a look at a few mods, one of which I wanted to look at last week, but I couldn't. The first one you are looking at here is ZGC Adam Cat's Girl Outfits by Sleepwalking. This is two outfits, one with jacket and one without. Uh, there is a patch to remove the shiny effect that you're seeing on the jacket. I did not download it because I didn't know uh, what exactly they meant originally, but you can go ahead and get that and I'm sure it cleans it right up. Uh, the shirt by itself just has the Adam Cats logo on it and both pieces can be modified with Ballistic Weave, Lining Mods, and Add-on Mods. Efla's unique battle coat from We Are the Enclave by Ben Efla and KK the Beast. Uh, while we're taking a look at this, I want to thank Ben Efla for the shout out in the mod topic for this mod. I really appreciate being recognized against larger YouTubers like Juicehead and Al Chestbreach. Feels good to be included in that group. Anyways, this is a very high quality Enclave battle coat, kind of reminiscent of Colonel Autumn's coat from Fallout 3, so you should really enjoy running around in this. As far as mods, there isn't too much needed, but you can put Ballistic Weave on here, because it only makes sense. Chainsaw and Bonesaw Pack by Axas, or ASXAS. This is the only April Fool's mod that I downloaded because it was pretty funny. Uh, this is two saws, one with actual bone as the saw, and one with chain as the saw. Uh, so these are melee weapons, they're kind of like smack melee weapons. Um, I use them right now, I think they're pretty great, that's why I downloaded them. As with all of this author's mods, you can of course put blue tape around the grip of the weapon. M29 Devil Revolver by D Magnus. Now when I downloaded this mod, I was very astounded at how many mod options there were, and you'll see that in a second. Um, but D Magnus has made a really nice revolver here. Uh, there, there is an option to replace Kellogg's revolver, and I think that might be the one that I'm using. Uh, but we're gonna check it out at the bench. So this revolver comes with a legendary enchantment, deals cryo damage during the night. Um, I did spawn these weapons, so of course I did spawn the legendary version of this, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be Kellogg's Revolver. But as you can see in the background, there are so many options for customization. I have sped it up because it was a very long clip, because every time I changed something, it opened up another menu for me to add more options in, and overall the gun ends up looking completely different, completely insane, and the sound is just so great.
Aquila Laser Rifle by VigVam33. Uh, last week when I wanted to take a look at this weapon, it was under moderator review on the Nexus. I'm glad to see that it made it through because it's actually a really entertaining weapon to have, customize, and use. Uh, it does come with a decent amount of options as well as an option that I really like, which is the ability to change the laser color from red to blue, in case that's what you wanted to do. So like I said, there's a good amount of mods for this. You can change the damage, the barrel type, uh, the color of the laser. There are several different scopes you can add, as well as damage modifiers. Uh, legendary crafting is actually built into this one. It has its own little subsection in the crafting. Uh, you can change your reticle, the paint on the weapon, and overall it's just a really customizable experience. Oh, and it has a pot leaf skin if you're into that. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more mod reviews every Sunday as well as some other content every once in a while. I am also currently working on a Fallout 4 survival series which will be a full playthrough, but until next time, thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day.